Well, here we are at GEG running some more tests with a newly installed hydrogen system that is set up for a V8 system. This is a V6 2006 Toyota Tacoma four-wheel drive where this has been professionally installed by my friend Mr. Cook and setting down in there which you can see at some point here. Let's take a look. There is the fill tank right there and below that if you look way down there there is the cell that is set up with all of its hoses here is one of the uh, spark ignition arresters there is where my HHO hooks in before my mass airflow. Here is the electrical coming over with the relays and an extra relay that will also shut off when the system is shut off because um, it's hooked up through the fuel system. And that's the circuit breaker and that's where it ties into the battery system. Grounded there on the wall very nice setup. Very good job with uh, Mr. Cook, who is my partner uh, in this endeavor, to see uh, what HHO really does to a vehicle or not. And I can tell you just from the first day, there is some uh, magnetizer magnets that I've been experimenting with that I have seen little to no results after over... 1400 miles of driving there are the magnets hooked on the different fuel lines and injectors and I have uh, it set up also where it is hooked up down in there on my water uh, inlet off the radiator on the very bottom and there is the magnet that is hooked onto the air intake system there is another one under here that turns just the opposite way so that you're catching the air and it looks as though uh, though it runs smoother it doesn't make really any significant difference in miles per gallon um, and I'm leaving it on there just for longer term tests to keep the various fuels cleaner through these magnetic properties since I do a lot of work as you can see over here with magnets and generators that we're now working with power cube labs and this setup that you see over here is going to do with our new generator that we are currently putting together this week that will operate 1.5 kilowatts on a two horsepower DC motor and uh, that will be explained later but as you can see now back to my Toyota the setup is quite unique and uh, really what we've done here is we've set up this system the way Brian has done it where you've got a pulse width, pulse width modulator there just above my brake lever there is an on and off switch for my HHO system to manually shut it off and uh, we'll start it up And you can see the blue light is on now, which means hydrogen is flowing. And you can see that my amperage is running around 14.8 to 15 is the setup. And uh, we did a gauge test this morning on this, which was just a little while ago with no HHO and the one after the HHO in a setup where I came back from Winter Haven, Florida that I've been driving for over a year it averaged 23.9 normally without hydrogen I'm right at around 19.9 to 20 as you saw right there so that's the setup where we're feeding the hydrogen that's set up here and that's all energized now. The engine is very, very quiet. 
even though it was never really loud before because I keep all the maintenance, keep top line, fuel line filters, etc., and uh, fuel line uh, and fuel filters, etc., synthetic, uh, our own brand, I run my own fuel additives that we developed many, many years ago. We also use uh, Marvel Oil, which is a great additive. These are some of the oils that we've used uh, in testing, as well as the great Mobile One. So, I wanted to show you the setup, and how that is set up. And at about 15 amps, this is putting out over 2 liters per minute of hydrogen into this system. And I'm quite pleased. So I'll keep you up to date as our tests go further. And this is GEG Labs showing that we're staying on the upper edge of always trying to make a difference even though our economy does not want you to succeed as inventors and innovators. You have to keep trying. You should never give up. Because the more we work and the harder we work, we will eventually get there. So there again, uh, I'm signing off. And uh, have a great day, and we'll be in touch soon.